Uh, my name's John Walden. Uh, I originally come from Scotland and uh, I moved down here about 21 years ago. I like St Anne, it's lovely, it's a beautiful, beautiful place and that quiet, and, you know, and it's really, really nice and that. I'm Andrew, Andrew Noble. I moved here 25 years ago to St Anne's beautiful place as I was second that with John and um, John and I met some 20 years ago now, yeah, civil partnership for 15 years. Before we had this lifeline, when we lived at the previous address, I felt guilty going out. I felt like I was leaving him behind. I don't wear the wristband John does, but knowing when I go out, he's got that. It's it's empowerment and gave us you know, freedom and you know independence on both counts, because I'm out and he's independent. He can have a shower in the wet room. He can make a cup of tea but he knows if should anything happen untoward, he can press that button, knowing that they're in contact with me as well, because I'm the main number to call. I didn't actually know anything about it. As Andy said, it was my, my support worker that put us on to it now, you know. And as I said, it's the best thing that ever happened to me, that, you know, because if, as I say, if I needed anything, I just need to press the button, that, you know. And it's a radio, so. You know, if, if I'm in the kitchen and something happens in the kitchen, they can still hear me and that, you know, in the kitchen, so... But uh, it's, it definitely helped me an awful lot, you know. Give me a lot of assurance that, that when Andy's out at night, you know. If I describe Progress Lifeline in three words, it would be empowerment, reassurance and friend. When they call us for the reassurance call, is everything OK? Do you need anything? Especially during lockdown, that was a very frequent service. We didn't, we didn't request it. It was like wow, and every time they rang, I felt so warm and you know loved. Really, I know it's a strong word, but I felt valued is a key word as well. Value. When we got these calls very regularly through a global pandemic, that to me was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Some days I actually got quite emotional when they ran, you know, because it was just like they care. And I had a vision of like if John was on his own, how much that would mean. And a lot of people are on their own. Some of our neighbours are on their own, and we all, as neighbours, we checked on each other. And for them to ring, you know, I don't know if he's got me, but they still rang, and for me as well. And I just thought how amazing that was that they were asking how we both are. It wasn't just the focus on John, but me as well, because we're a family together here. <coughs> and it, oh, I can look back now and remember the calls. <laughs> and so I actually got goosebumps when they rang, and I thought, how nice was that? It warmed, you know, my heart.